clear that garbage away and sweep up that glass? Yes, sir. Well, Bruce, looks like your return party brought out the lunatic fringe in full force. They weren't on my guest list. No, of course not. Terrible that our company should be a target for such a thing. Don't know how I'll explain it to the shareholders. Sorry I missed you at the party. It was your night. I didn't want to be in the way. Jordan, I know you're not happy with my return. Please. I'm not paid to have an opinion on the matter. You're head of this corporation. I will strive to do my best for the company, as would any other employee. Huh. Something wrong? No, no, no. I just noticed you're alone today. Usually you have Terry here to assist you. I'm surprised someone in your position would remember the name of a boy he'd seen maybe once before. I got to my position by being thorough, Bruce. Besides, I've made it a point to know everything there is to know about the man I work for. Orphaned at age nine, educated abroad, returned to Gotham 15 years later, but for over two decades took only a passing interest in day-to-day -day company operations. Seems you developed somewhat of a playboy reputation. Late hours, nightly carousing, according to rumors. Hardly the stuff of legends. Maybe not, but like I said, I am thorough. Mr. Price, your lunch appointment is waiting. On my way. You'll be okay here on your own? You would know. I would. I'm standing by my decision. I was a fool to allow McGinnis to assume the role of Batman. It's no life for anyone, and you can quote me. Stay. Shh. Yeah, I'm happy to see you too. Dana.